I know. Do we have a new sponsor for the show? We're casualing it out. Hey, everyone. <laughs> We just finished. Is this product placement now? Oh. What, what's happened to our Only show? Only if it were. Is this the one that has the name on it? No, it doesn't have Why so doesn't? Much name. Full disclosure, Coca-Cola is not a registry. <laughs> Why did they put the names on the can, by the way? To make it feel like it was more personal. Because right. they wanted you to share a Coke. Yeah. But oh, what that are the, the odds whole thing? But the that names they Bernadette were... is going to be yeah. sitting next to you at that moment? But they were. First... I have a friend named Bernadette. Well, there you go. But they were first names, and then they were last names, and then there seemed like they oh, were. Oh, they were last names. They were. They were all mixed up. Yeah, like I was. I was Hernandez one day. Schwarzkopf. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> That's weird. Hey, we just got through talking with Ned Coletti, so hopefully you saw that, um, because Ned was here, and he was very busy. We forgot to mention everyone who's here. So of course, John's over there. Eric's over there, Nicole's over there, and our new friend Elizabeth is back over here. They're working on the website, which will soon be up and the, spectacular. The and Georgia connection. So much fun. Um, but we there were a couple things we wanted to get to. We want to do a quick show for you here um, on things that are in the news yeah, this week. We have yeah. a couple videos to show. Couple. Again, I'm Tom Hofarth. This oh, is and Steve I'm Steve Lauer, yeah. But you knew that. <laughs> We didn't even know that no, coming no, in. No. And later we're going to talk about my shoes. Yeah. Because this is a big day for me, shoe-wise. So. so he asked us to bring up his shoes, and then he brought up his shoes. Thank you. So uh, where I'd like to begin today is, and I think such... Johnny is loading this up here, is there were a couple videos we saw. We were going to have Ned look at these, but he got talking about... Uh... Don't talk bad of Ned. No, He's no, not no. Here. It was fantastic. You want me to do my Ned imitation? Is do it. it. Uh, yeah, I cut that guy loose. <laughs> That's the way baseball told you it was time to go. I'm just a messenger. He was great. He was absolutely <laughs> great. Um, Johnny, are we ready to go with this thing? Yeah, I was okay. waiting on you guys. So right. what are we going to begin with? Okay. This is the Minnesota something. State, State uh, baseball high school champ. St State playoffs. Okay, All so right. here we go. This kid is about to pitch, and here he goes. Goes, he pitches. Is. He's doing the play-by-play -play All here. righty, and everyone's excited. And, and the guy strikes out. Game yeah. Game's over. Let's have a celebration. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Sorry, catcher. Oh, I'm going to go hug the batter, who it turns out was his childhood friend. Yeah, tonight, tonight do a little dance. we celebrate our Isn't love. Isn't that sweet? Now, I, now, I really do think it was sweet, and I, I got just as choked up as everyone. But I was going to ask Ned, but I'll ask everyone here, since... We know that no matter the sport, talent evaluators consider everything about an athlete. In fact, some stuff that is way off base. In any way, do you think anybody who was looking at that pitcher might say, huh, why is he hugging the guy from the other team and not his well, team? Well, it's got some mixed reaction on social media. Really? Okay, let's see. And, and, and weird. And, again, I equate this to, like, you can never please everybody. I went to see the new uh, Mr. Rogers documentary. Yes. But before I went, I checked on Rotten Tomatoes. I only got 96%. Who are the 4% that hate Mr. Rogers? <laughs> exactly. Right. You just you can't please everybody. Right. So, but I think what some of the people were saying was like, could you just save it for after the game? Mm. You know, your team wants to celebrate. This is what you would do. And, and, and maybe the batter would say to him, just go celebrate with the team. Yeah. We can hook up later. See, if I was the batter... Yeah. Yeah. I would prefer. Yeah, I would don't. Yeah, don't coddle me right now. This does not make me look like exactly. I need consoling, right? Yeah, you're bringing attention that I'm pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> right. You struck me out. Now you're gonna rub and it. And later in. we'll talk about my shoes. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> but no. Now here's <laughs> here's the other thing, John. John, I want to talk to you about. John, Johnny. Do you think a talent evaluator might say, "Wait a minute, this guy has too much empathy for the opponent." He might feel bad for a guy. Well, I know we got a lot of the same kind of stuff and uh, criticism about Josh Rosen coming out because of uh, you know him saying he has bigger ambitions in football right. and you know he wants to make a change on the world scene and not just within the NFL and blah right. blah blah. And a lot of people, you know, professional scouts and evaluators right. and stuff like that, were saying, "Well, the kid just doesn't care. He doesn't have the heart. You know, right. football is not his number one." And, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's the same stupid voices with this. Look, look how John made that's an L.A. story. This is what we try to do, take national things and put an L.A. spin on it. Right. Look, I'm just trying to bring back the uh, epi just. other episodes of Josh True. Rosen. You can see those on YouTube. Yeah. Um, Episode well, something. somewhere yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Smeed knows. Yeah. Smeed is the show shows. logger. I, uh, look, you might think I'm being ridiculous, but we know they look at literally everything. Well, that's what they, Ed was yeah. saying. You, they look at all social media. Right. And... and but you know the thing that I want to know as soon as I saw this, what is the backstory? Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a great story to this. Um, 
I'm uh, assuming they were just thing. friends growing up well, and could have been, yeah, somebody could have moved away or something like that. Yeah, could well, be, well, well, basically what, what I read was they were childhood friends and then they had to go to different high schools. And I guess they were far enough away that they really didn't get to see each other. But And, and so they were close friends when they were young, but they, they, they conversed but some. And I would yeah. never hug you like that. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, I, I've been meaning to talk to you about First of all, because I would hit a home run off you. Rather, and then I would flip you off as I was circling the bases, but I would never <laughs> hug you like that if I struck you out. You give him the uh, Roger Clemens kid <laughs> thing <laughs> where he uh, give him the hook him horns <laughs> as he rounded third to the opponent's uh, yeah. dugout? Yeah, uh, Jeff, uh, our good friend Jeff, showed us a, a, um, a little uh, <laughs> tweet from someone who was watching this and said the exact same thing had happened to him. Except he flipped off his friend who was who was pitching. He hit a home run off him, yeah. and, and that would to me that's a sign of respect. Yeah, I was going to say that's a yeah. sign of a of a better friendship. When I yeah. think so. Yeah. You just look at him like, oh, screw you, asshole. Yeah. Yes, that's the. Who do you want to be more than your best friend? I mean, when I'm playing basketball, I always want to be you know my best friend, which is you know why I never play basketball with you. Well, so because um, you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have I a height can't. advantage that I will never let you forget. That's true. <laughs> and a weight advantage. Going both ways. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. But we'll talk about my shoes later. Johnny, do you have the, the second video up there? Which was the second one? The Which second one? video is this fantastic video. Track meet. Of uh, Kendall oh, yeah, Ellis, the... who is my new idol. Kendall Ellis. The girl from USC. Who I would yes. love for us to speak to. I think she is... Uh, Vastly underappreciated right now. Are we, are we watching it? Yeah, so you okay. know the, the back story is okay. USC's women team is needs to win this race to win the title. Right. And she is currently in third when At we this pick up point, this Dwight Stones is saying that Purdue is going to win, and there Purdue's is gonna no win. way. She comes out of the frame. Back. Yeah, she was called. Do we got audio on this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now the first thing I find amazing about this video is if anyone has watched it with the audio, Stones keeps dismissing the the woman in the he doesn't even see saying, her who's saying SC might come. He's going no no no. <laughs> Purdue's got this. Purdue's got yeah. this. Then he calls SC for A the winner. win when they're still three meters behind. <laughs> it's like bizarre. Yeah, they hadn't even crossed the finish yeah. line. Right. Yet. It's and almost like, like SEC like and yeah. USC does it. SEC, it doesn't even look oh. like it's synced up. Yeah, but it's. But it's that's what happened. That is one of the most amazing things. I, I think it's the most amazing thing I've seen this year. I've never seen a comeback like that. That's and SB award winning. Material. Absolutely. Now, is anybody here run track? I was a four year letter winner in track in high school. What'd you run? I did. I ran the fat man four by one because <laughs> I was a thrower. There you go. What? Yeah, we uh, look so at him. It was. Of course, he's a thrower. Yeah, I, I threw shot put and discus. Yeah. Right. Uh, but some of the uh, invitational meets, it wasn't an officially sanctioned event. Oh, uh, man. They would gather all the throwers from all the different teams, <laughs> and we would do a four-by-one meter. That's four by the one best thing I've ever heard. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah, it was a good time, especially oh. when we had uh, – well, I ran the second leg, which is a straightaway. <laughs> right, um, right. I ran it in 12 seconds, too, which I was... That's I, that's I, I, good. We, that's moving, yeah. We had a sub-50-second 4 by one of just oh, throwers, which that's was... Just, that's just pure momentum. Wow. Yeah, our, uh, our anchor, okay, though... Okay, so let me ask you this. In the thrower thing, who, which throwers are typically the most fat, and which one is the least fat? I'm thinking javelin, less fat. Uh, well, javelin's that's usually not prancing. sanctioned by uh, high schools because, because of people getting killed. impalement reasons. <laughs> Um, yes. But yeah, javelin and discus. probably I'd say javelin, and then it would be hammer throw, and then discus. Nick, wait, your high school didn't have javelin, but did have hammer? No, no, not oh. in Ohio, but oh, okay. as far as actual throw, oh, oh actual throw, yeah. Is. And then the shot put guys are the biggest, right? Usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's more pushing and with your. I was a third leg guy, which is why I suck at throwing baseballs because I. I, is that the reason, John? That, that and being other <laughs> – I was thinking about it because I How threw about the some. catching of the baseball? <laughs> hey, I can catch <laughs> most of the time. Uh, Schmied was Schmied. actually used as a baton during the relay. Hey, Schmeeds, were you <laughs> hey, – how were are you? you? Were you intimidated by Ned Coletti? We did not hear a peep out of Schmeeds that whole well, time. Well, you guys brought up hockey, and you didn't bring in the hockey minute. That's right. Uh, that's right. Well, oh, we should. We will. We'll bring it in right now. It's so up. Grab the cup. That's right. You were right. They you want can, it. You can drink from the cup. Pour, put whatever you want in it. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna. I got one prediction right. It's gonna be the same size as uh, 
the actual cup with him versus Ovi. The, the comparison's <laughs> right. the same. We're going to have him do a keg stand into that thing later. Oh, yeah. Schmitz, did you see um, Ovi throw out the first pitch of a Nationals game and throw it over the catcher, and everyone explained the reason was that he was hammered? Yes, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys think you should get a, a second pitch when you're hammered? Yes. Mm. Yes. I think so, yeah, oh, for absolutely. sure. No, it's a one-take thing. It's always a one-take. Otherwise, mm. Carl Lewis would still be up there trying. 50 Cent could have done it again. Oh, 50 Cent was awful. Was he hammered, though? I don't know if he was hammered or not. Like, he was I was a, him, I'd say. Well, maybe he was... Uh, yeah, that would be a good excuse, right? Maybe he had vaped it a little too much before that game. Schmitz, do you think that's his uh, Dirk Nowitzki moment now that, like, now that he's done it, he's done. He, de- he, he can play hard if he wants, but... He got his championship, oh, yeah. so he's 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 kind of over. I mean, as far as having to really try, anymore. he doesn't have to do anything. If they yeah. ever start partying, <laughs> 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 there's a new video of them every single day. Hey, I haven't heard. Or, have they been invited to the White House? Mm. Ooh, only oh, the wait, Russian he, team. The Russian, <laughs> <laughs> the Russian, they, yeah. they Russian have. Russian delegation. In, yes. Of course so they, they have. Yeah, right. They, they drive by the White House every day. They'll be invited to the Kremlin, and yeah. then the White the House will go to the Kremlin. Kremlin and, yeah. Go to yeah. Rodman's house after. Yeah. yeah, all that stuff. But you did hear about when um, Justify won the Triple Crown. He turned down the trip to the White House. You didn't know that? Justify did. <laughs> yeah, Justify turned it down. Oh, and I he, thought you meant And you know... You know. He wasn't horsing around. Hey! No, 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 no. Hey, Lord. No, he, the, the thing on Twitter said, he. Uh, if I wanted to see a horse's ass, I would have finished second. Boom. Boom. By the way, <laughs> did you see? <laughs> did you see that if if you had taken Justify running his race, yeah, and take Secretariat yeah. running his race, still Secretariat would have beat Justify by twenty five yeah. lengths. Yeah. That is still. I'd like to do a. Sh- I want to talk to someone about that sometime. The youngins don't know about this, but Secretary, that particular race, and I am not a horse racing fan. I cannot tell you how many people I have spoken to when when they watched that said they cried when he right. It, the movie with Tobey Maguire. <laughs> That's Sea Biscuit. No horse have racing. You, I, have you ever seen the ooh, Secretary ooh. Uh, tape? Yeah, horse racing yeah, brings out a right? whole you don't weird cry? emotional. No, no. Uh, no. Are you are you gals horse racing fans? Do you, but you probably liked horses when you were growing up, right? I rode horses. You rode horses, of course. Yeah. yeah. It's a girl thing. To, it's it's an emotional girl thing to see a horse run. And my wife, well, my exactly. kids, my daughters just love to go to the racetrack right. and see the horses. And it, as I told you in a previous, it was the most exciting thing I ever seen, ever saw in a live sporting event was Zenyatta winning the Breeders' Cup race because I did not expect this to happen. Right. The female horse beating the, you know. Fellas. The fellas. Yeah. And then having to watch this woman in a full regalia tell her daughter, why is this a big deal? The, the girl's going, why is this a big deal? And she goes, the girl just beat all the boys right. in this race. Right. It's like, it was such a, it was an amazing moment. And that girl was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And now. There it is. You know, the rest <laughs> of the story. <laughs> it's By time the way, everyone, everyone go see the RBG documentary. Very good. But I want to ask you about the Fred Rogers documentary. What would you think? Did you cry as much as I'm expecting? I'm going to cry. Well, I'm going to blubber. At the weirdest times, because um, it all sort of where you connect to the show at one point. My wife decided that her love of animals was due to Fred Rogers' puppet called Daniel, which mm-hmm. was basically him. Daniel the puppet was, explains all of Mr. Rogers' feelings. Now, I don't have kids, or, but I have a lot of friends that do, and apparently there is a show that is a cartoon currently on PBS right. that is it's a spinoff, Dan- and it's, it's the Daniel, Daniel Tiger. Right. Oh. And they showed some of that oh. in the documentary. It's really neat. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of poignant moments. Um, the, the, the moment I think I was most emotionally reactive is when – they showed at toward the end Fox News. They show a Fox News clip of them trying to blame Mr. Rogers for all the kids today being soft and oh. and entitled. And I go, what did you miss of Mr. Rogers? That right. is not the point of his show. And they tried to all these headlines and things that they had to address it because they thought. Yeah. And then they showed Mr. Rogers kind of addressing that at a at another college uh, uh, graduation speech where he. It's just like wow. That's really? why so many people have said this documentary is just perfect for our time where yeah. kindness is considered a weakness yeah. where it's not a weakness, success yeah. has to come with bullying and being yeah. a, a fool and and you know yeah something in the movie that i don't think i'm giving away there was a time when they referred to him as fat freddy he was a what? kid that was a chunky kid no kid. he got bullied a lot so he, i think that really sort of set the foundation of what he wanted people to treat each other in a better way so that was 
again, a lot of things that you don't find out. Do you think it would have gone better for him if he'd had shoes like this? <laughs> so let's talk well, about he the did, shoes. He did change Steve, into what are you sneak. wearing? Okay. Well, what, well, what, what are you sneakers? wearing, sir? He, he did change into his sneakers every what, show. What do you think they are, Schmidt? I look Show like a polo sketcher. You tell us. Okay, but you heard. No, they are Everyone Stan in Smith this room shoes. at first thought these were Stan Smith. And I got them at, there's a Skechers outlet out here, and I got them for like half of the Stan Smith. Because no one wants them. Shut up. So, right. but here's the thing, is that this is very big in Europe to wear like the dark with the blindingly white shoes. Yeah. And I really wanted to try it. So this is a key moment for me. So let's go around the room and talk about me. So, John, let's start with you. W you know, did, did you know what else is really big in Europe? What? Full body track suits. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Squatting in photos while wearing those same shoes. You could wear that uh, with a romper. With, that yeah, would look great. Yeah, unfiltered cigarettes <laughs> um, and did, did techno. He did he say a romper? Yeah, she yes. said romper. <laughs> romper. Wow. So am I pulling it off? What do you think? Do you think it's through Ned? Ned didn't mm, care. Did you wear Ned? Ned you know, Ned was, was wearing his cowboy boots. Ned was wearing cowboy boots. He loves cowboy his cowboy boots. boots. Yeah. Yeah. That's his kick ass. I have a feeling if he didn't have cowboy boots, I would have been taller than him. Mm. That's a big thing with me. I always, I know it doesn't mean anything to you I'm guys. right there with you. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> Eric, talk about this. I hear you, brother. They say most of the times, <laughs> they say most of the times when guys go into a room, they're always like, can I beat guys up? Eric and I are always like, am I taller? Am I taller than these guys? You got to size them up. That's yeah. right. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. On the next you th episode. You think it's a little thing. Yeah. but It is a little thing. In a previous life, when I would online date, I would see <laughs> the, these women write things about, oh, I'm looking for my soulmate, someone who connects deep and whatever. And uh, you have to be at least 5'11", because I like wearing heels. It's like, oh, oh yeah. okay. Six so, water, swipe left. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. See? It, it, it's, it's awful. I have a thing about knockoffs, though, because I only... I, I, I have to have original Adidas. I have to have my Van leather shoes. I don't buy the knockoff really? ones. I, I, and then I just wear them out because they last so long. I, yeah. To me, something like that is going to just fall apart. It's Skechers. But it's, it's in the crap store. <laughs> it's in the crap store down by the Goodyear blimp. They feel strong to me. And God knows it will. they will not break down because I'm exercising in them. So I well, think Well, the first okay. time you scuff them up, I hope you donate them to a homeless person. Well, I think I have to clean. No, no. You just have to keep constant cleaning. Like pledge oil and Sounds stuff like, like a lot of work. It? Yeah. No? And I do, you know, do you notice, Eric, they've got like a really big, like, sole. So I'm thinking I'm getting about, right. about a quarter inch so, out so of this. So another fashion thing I'm getting I so much support out of these. <laughs> what? Another oh, my God. Did you hear that good. voice? Oh, no. It's my I sound like it was like helium. So I'm at a wedding, and yes. my son is wearing the dark blue pants with the brown shoes. Dark blue pants with the brown shoes. Light brown shoes, and I I did not know this was a thing. This, did this he happened. have socks on? No, probably not. But that's a look. Yeah, that is a look now. Okay. In the old days, in fact, gray, a gray suit with brown, that's good too now. No, I I like the look. I just yeah. did not know that it was legal to do that now. With seems like a lot of the rules are out out the. There uh, are no rules. Do you go? Do you have to? Don't your belt have to match the shoes still? Is that gone? belt and shoes usually still that's should still match. proper? Yeah, that's okay. still you or should belt. still have. I that. learned the other day Schmitz, that when I was wearing you, a you jacket, you know all about the bear, the belts. Yeah. That's proper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just learned the other day wearing a jacket, you have to button the two top buttons, leave the third one unbuttoned. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Three button suit or a three button jacket. Sometimes, always, never. See, I was in and out with my Coletti thing here. I didn't know what to do with it. I see a lot of dudes who are wearing like, like plaid um, shirts, and then they'll have like a crisscross tie. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. The stripes. It's like Tetris or something like that. Yeah, the like stripes. That. Yeah, the, yeah. It, I, I don't. That's very odd. What have we devolved into? I don't know. This is my fa <laughs> This is my favorite show, actually. Yeah, I really this, like this, this one. This is a good one. All right. Uh, we'll have to introduce them to Mr. Blackwell. Today. Anybody They've got anything else? Heard of, right? Hey, so we went So what's our third Father's Day is coming up? Yes. Do we have any good Father's Day stories that we want well, to tell? Well, if you watch the Ned Coletti show, he, he actually told a very kind of uh, heartfelt right. thing about getting his father's tattoo uh, initials tattooed on his side. I'm thinking of doing that. So where are you going to do it? Well, on the side. He said he, he, on had, the his, side. Uh, he had his dad's initials here, so he always had his dad by his side. He said he, he uh, got the idea from Tim Russert, who did now, it with his would dad. Would you make your son do that also? Would you encourage him to do it? Yeah. Would you sort of guilt him into doing yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> would you do it for yourself just with a marker to say, well, get used to it? Well, originally, I was going to put my kids here. And like I said, I was my, my daughter's name is Madison, and my son's name's Jackson. 
And people always think I have a presidential fetish or something yeah. like that, which is really weird. No. But I was thinking about doing that. But that actually sounds kind of nice. So who, has a, who has a tattoo? I have. Uh, what do you got? I have my dad's uh, name signature tattooed across my yeah. chest right here. Oh, and I got that cool. shortly after he died um, as just kind of a way of remembering him. That's awesome. See, I would I would do my kids thing if I could be absolutely certain I was not going to break up with them, you know, because then that would be embarrassing. True. You know, then you, you got, have to change. You it. got your kid there, and like, oh gee, now I got this one. You know, yeah. what you should do is you have you seen the new uh, tattoos that are uh, you can use a cell phone and scan it, and it has like a sound wave. And yeah, it'll actually like play the audio. Oh my gosh. Well, wait, what? What? Wait. Whoa, that just blew my mind. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Explain that a little more. <laughs> so there, there is a way of tattooing, and it works with an app that it'll you can tattoo like a waveform for uh, yeah, like yeah, audio, yeah, yeah. like the how audio. it actual it's audio. Yeah. Yeah, and you scan it with your cell phone, and it'll actually play the audio. Yeah. Oh, I get it. So the tat- I thought the phone, the tattoo comes out of the phone. You do the the tattoo the scan, and then it'll do this music. thing. You can, so you can put music on your. Is that own. what it is? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's that's what it is. So it could be music, or it could be your your. It son could be somebody's saying, voice saying "I love my dad" or yeah, something yeah, there, like that. Oh yeah. damn! I'd like to do it. Oh, I really like that. You idea. don't have much body space, man. You just got to figure I'm it out and stick with it. Getting more every day, I'm baby. Go, I'm going like full on. Oh lord! I'm oh, going to wow. look like. Yes. Uh, Get a back mural. Yeah. Oh, back, front, side. I've got all kinds of space. Get a gorilla riding a, a motorcycle. You know, in fact, when piece. we do this show and we're looking for... We're halfway to the Fat Man Relay. We're this looking for sweet. sponsors. We want sponsors for the show. I've got plenty of billboard. <laughs> I'm... I'm billboard. Anyways. <laughs> okay. I'm I think that was it. That was fantastic. I like that. Jim Beam with billboard. This is kind of like the drill after, after dark. The after kind show. Of thing. Yeah, that's very yeah. nice. The decompressing. Anyways, check us out on all stuff. Uh, Nicole and Elizabeth are working on our website, and we're going to have that up really soon, and then then things are just going to break. We're yeah. just going to be huge. Things are going to break well. We're both yeah. going to move, and we'll never do this show again. No. no. Oh, man. Ooh. <laughs> we're going to move to Georgia because we hear it's a great place to visit we're and live. We're going to move to Georgia. Oh, here we are. Go dogs. Thank you. Uh, farther off the wall, Steve Lowry, 12, Tom Hofarth, John... McElvey the John. McElvee okay, the John. nobody ever knows how to do that. Right, it okay. was just up on the screen. Swipe, yeah. swipe left. Swipe left. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, don't don't swipe left on Schmeeds. You I swipe right d- on oh, Schmeeds. Oh, swipe right. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> know how that like. works. Super like him. Oh, yeah. super like him on oh, MySpace. So I know. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm with you, my diminutive brother. <laughs> I'm Thanks, with brother. you. Let's All go out right. and buy some shoes now. All right. Let's go buy some fake shoes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I 